Hello, this is Bern, and if you don't feel like you're getting the respect that you want from men around you, well, on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you why that might be the case and what you can do immediately right now to change that going forward. Stick with me. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart-centered, and successful women how you can create the relationship of your dreams and attract the kind of man you want without gimmicks, manipulations, or crazy strategies, and as a result of stepping into the most alive, conscious, and feminine version of yourself. Now, uh, this is a topic that creates a lot of pain in women's hearts and lives, and that is not getting the respect they want from men. And it happens for many different reasons. So let me just clearly state right now that if you want to get more respect than the one you're getting right now, if you feel like you're not being respected at the level that you want to, whether that's intimately or emotionally or your time, the price to pay to get the respect that you want is number one, understand exactly what you want. Number two, be willing to courageously set a boundary that allows men around you to understand how you are to be treated. Now, there's the first the reasons, right? Here are the most common reasons why lots of women don't get the respect they want in their hearts. Number one is lack of awareness. And lack of awareness means that you feel like something's off, but don't have the conscious clarity to understand this thing this guy is doing is fucked up. It's not right and it shouldn't be happening. You're confused sometimes. It feels slightly off, but it doesn't feel like a black and white scenario. So because of that, you might let it slide. And unfortunately, when you let things slide like this time and time again, instead of getting better, they get worse. And instead of you recognizing that there's another way for you to show up in the world and for people to treat you differently, you start lowering your standards because you start feeling that that's all there's around you and that that's how guys approach women and that's how guys relate to women. And that becomes your reality, even if that's not the, the, the way some guys connect with women or even those same men may connect differently with other women, but they haven't understood yet how far they can go and they might go further than they need to if you don't necessarily claim uh, exactly what you're needing. Number two, lack of confidence and worth. Maybe you understand that what he's doing is not right. Maybe you get it. You're not at the level of lack of awareness, but you're at the level of lack of courage in being able to express, here's what I want, right? And lack of confidence, almost like if you're not good enough to express that or inspire that, or claim that or demand that, right? If you feel like somehow part of you is undeserving of good treatment and you might understand and feel the pain of the way the guy is connecting with you, but not necessarily have the strength, the confidence and the courage to say, here's where it stops, here's where I draw the line. Third reason why you might not be getting the level of respect you want and need for men is you might be afraid of missing out or you might be afraid of the guy that you're connecting with abandoning you, quote unquote, right? What does that mean? That means that if you feel a level of emotional connection with a man, if you feel like your chemistry is high, if you feel like if you make up a decision in your mind, he's an awesome guy. He might not be, but you make in your mind the decision that he's a good guy and you'd want to be with him. And then he shows up in a way that's on the serving of you. You might not set the limit because you feel if you do, he might go away, he might think less of you. We'll actually go to the next one. Next one would be even a stronger level of fear of retribution. You feel like the guy you're with, you're more of an understanding that he's not a good guy, but you still feel attached to him. You still feel like you can't break free of his spell, right? Uh, you still feel like the energy and the connection and the sometimes it's so good that almost like you make up for the bad time saying, well, it's worth it because when it's good, it's really good. Now, but sometimes this guy is very emotionally abusive or even physically abusive and you feel like if you set a boundary, there's a fear of retribution. It's not just fear of missing out. It's like if I say something right now, this guy might punch me or this guy might... Uh, be very abusive emotionally and I'd just rather not go through the soap opera of pain than set a limit right now, set a boundary right now. So that's the fourth reason. Fifth reason would be lack of practice. It means that you have not made this a muscle that you're 
stepping into a muscle that you're practicing constantly. Emotional muscles are as real are physical, as physical muscles are. So that means if you don't practice setting boundaries on small things, setting boundaries on big things becomes much harder in practice. So what can we do with this information? I mean, knowing that A, sometimes you don't set the right boundaries for these reasons is awareness, so that's powerful, but even more powerful than awareness is taking action. So the action that I'd love for you to think about stepping into is practicing practicing more throughout next week throughout next month you'll have plenty of opportunities to feel like something's off based on the way a man is connecting with you whether that's not being respectful of your time not being respectful of your personal space not being respectful of your physical boundaries not being uh, respectful of the words he's using when he's connecting and addressing you and if you feel like that's something that's taking place then my strongest recommendation is that you put yourself into the Take the courageous act of saying, I'm not understanding this, or I'm not liking this, or this thing you're doing right now, I don't appreciate it. Please don't do it. I want you to take the next step and start practicing this more and build the inner muscles on smaller things that allow you to, on bigger things, have the courage to say no. Hope this is helpful, useful, and insightful to you. If it is, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video or thumbs up. Number two, subscribe to my channel or, and click the little bell if you want to be notified of new episodes as they come out. Third and most important of all, if you feel like you want to go deeper in understanding how you can step into the best relationship of your life and create the kind of connection you want with a conscious guy, then on the first link on the description of this video, you're going to find a um, link. You click on that link, enter your name and email, and you start watching a masterclass that I created for you absolutely free right away. Now, if you're saying to yourself, Burn, I, I love the videos, and I intellectually get this whole thing of boundaries, I still find it next to impossible to put it to practice. I want some hand-holding and some help to get myself to set stronger boundaries and get what I know I'm worth. Then there's another link on the description of this video that allows you to reach out and apply to work with me uh, to solve these problems, right? And if I feel I can help you, I'll read your application. My assistant will reach out and set up a time to connect. Thank you so much for connecting with me and I challenge you as always, to live a full, make conscious life.